Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to write a C program to print all Armstrong numbers between 1 to n. So before we move on to the actual program, let us try to understand what do you mean by Armstrong numbers. Armstrong numbers are the numbers that are giving us the sum of cube of each digit of a given number is called Armstrong number. Let us suppose I'll write a number called 370. So we'll define the Armstrong number as the sum of cube of each digit of a number that gives once again the same number. So such numbers are called Armstrong numbers. So here 3 to the power 3, that is 3 is to be multiplied three times. So it will give me 27. 7 is to be multiplied three times. 7 7 is 49. 49 7 43. Plus 0 to the power 0. 0 into 0 into 0 gives me 0 only. When I add both of these two numbers, once again I am going to get 370 only. So such numbers are called Armstrong numbers. So we have to print uh, the Armstrong numbers between 1 to n. Means what? Here n will be inputted by the user. So let us begin with the preprocessor directives. Hash include in an angular base, we will write standard input output dot h header file. The next preprocessor directive is hash include in the angular brace, we will write console input output dot h header file. Now we will write wide main function. Curly open brace and here in a declaration section, we are going to declare all the necessary variables which are to be used in the program. I am going to declare with the data type called int. I will write one variable called i comma next i'll take n and i'll take m then i'll take digit and then i'm going to take sum so here i'm going to put semicolon now let us ask the user to enter the value for n here i'm going to write print f statement in a double quotation mark i will ask the user to enter the value of yum so end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and here we are going to receive the value from the user through keyboard using the function called scanf and in a double quotation mark i'm going to write percentage d format specifier that indicates it's an integer type of number end the double quotation mark put comma ampersand i'll use yum and put semicolon so after receiving this value we have to go for iteration so i'll write for loop and here i'm going to write i is equal to one why because i want to print all the armstrong numbers that is ranging between one to n so that's the reason i is equal to one now i'm going to write i is less than or equal to i'll use this m and put semicolon i plus plus now curly open brace here i'm going to take this variable called n equated with value i now i'm going to write here sum is equal to zero and now i'm going to use the while iterative statement and now i'm going to check the condition n should not be equal to zero if it is not equal to zero, then only the control enters into this body of while loop and it is going to execute certain set of instructions written within the body of this while loop. Otherwise, the control directly jumps to the next statement. So curly open brace, here I'm going to write digit is equal to n modular division by 10. So this always gives us remainder. Now I'm going to write the second statement sum is equal to sum plus digit into digit into digit. 
so we have to multiply this digit three times because here you can see that sum of cubes of digits of the number so that's the reason we have to multiply digit into digit into digit now the third statement is n is equal to n integer division by 10 so this always gives us the quotient curly closing brace now we are going to check out the condition here i'm going to write if i is equal to some if this is true then it has to print the armstrong number that is i so print f in a double quotation mark i'll write percentage d format specify in the double quotation mark put comma and then you can write i and put semicolon now i'm going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace for this main function so actually we have to write one more curly closing brace for this for iterative statement for this while opening there is a closing and for this for here is a closing and for this main and here is a closing now let us check out what output we are going to get out of this so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the value of yum here for example i am going to enter value 500 so what is going to happen so it is going to iterate 500 times this particular for loop because this 500 is stored in the variable m so here i value for the first time it is 1 1 is less than or equal to m value is 500 that is 1 is less than or equal to 500 it is true till this i will become greater than 500 so here this is true for the first time so control enters into the body of this for loop now n is equated with value i i value is 1 1 is equated to n now n value is 1 sum is equal to 0 while n is not equal to 0 here n is 1 1 is not equal to 0 hence condition is true once condition is true control enters into the body of this while and it is going to execute these three statements now let us calculate digit is equal to n is 1 modular division by 10 is equal to so whenever we use modular division it always returns us the remainder as per the basic mathematical rule when the numerator is less than denominator then the numerator acting as a remainder and quotient becomes zero so here numerator is one which is acting as the remainder now let us go for the second statement sum is equal to for the first time sum value is zero plus digit is one so here i'm going to write one into one into one so one into one is one one into one is again one one plus zero that gives me one now sum is one third statement is n is equal to now n value is one integer division by n so this always returns us the quotient zero the first iteration is over once again control jumps to while and now it is going to check out n is not equal to zero or what right now n value is zero zero is not equal to zero no condition is false once the condition is false control comes out of this looping construct and it is going to execute the next condition so it is going to check out if i is equal to i'll write here if i value is what i value for the first time it is one double equal to represent it is going to compare value with sum sum is also one one is equal to one yes it is true so it is going to print the value of i that is the first armstrong number so here first armstrong number is one so after reaching to this curly closing brace for this for loop once again control transfers to this outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by one now i value is two two is equated to n sum is equal to again set to zero so here two is not equal to zero condition is true once again uh, these three statements will get executed so i'll write here uh, sorry digit is equal to n is what two modular division by 10 
So as per basic mathematical rule, it says that when the numerator is less than denominator, then the numerator acting as a remainder and quotient becomes zero. So here digit is two. Now once again, we'll execute the second statement. Sum is equal to for the first time sum is zero. Digit is two. So we have to multiply this one by thrice. So two to the four, four to the eight. Eight plus zero that gives me eight only. Now third statement n is equal to n value is what two integer division by ten. So this gives us the quotient zero. So once again control transfers to while zero is not equal to zero. No, it is false. Once the condition fails, the control comes out of this looping construct and it is going to check out this condition. So here i value is what i value is two. Two is equal to eight. 2 is equal to 8. No, condition is false. Once it is false, then it is not going to print this particular Armstrong number because it is not an Armstrong number. So after reaching this curly closing brace for this outer for loop, control once again jumps to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now i value will become 3. So this procedure will be continued till this value is satisfied. Now let us check out what all Armstrong numbers that comes in between 1 to 500. For that, I will take you to my laptop screen. Here you can see I have already written this program just to save your time. Let us compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error. Let us run this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Here it is asking the user to enter the value of EM. Now I'm going to enter 500 and press enter. Here you can see he got 1, 153, 370, 371, 407. So these five are the Armstrong numbers that comes in between the range of 1 to 500. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you so much for watching this video. We will see you in the next video.